G'day sports fans, Paul Williamson here, PGA member, RGX coach with the scoring method here to give you rule number nine in my 10 keys to lower scores. So all the others, all eight of them are fantastic. They're going to drop your scores by tons. And if you haven't seen them, you need to go down below, check them all out. They're going to actually really improve your scores. There are too many to list here. I'm going to waste some time doing that. So we're getting straight into rule number nine. And that is start your rounds of golf in first gear. What does that mean? Well, you don't start a car in fifth gear, do you? For those of you who have ever drove, driven a manual in the past, if you've got that gear in fifth and you try to start the car in fifth, you know what happens there, blah, 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 you're not going anywhere. So you're going to start again. Guess what? Same thing happens in golf. If you just turned up to the golf course, you haven't warmed up, you haven't done anything golf-related since last week or maybe a month ago, and you stand on that first tee, you grab your driver and you're trying to hit the career tee shot straight down the middle of that first fairway with no preparation whatsoever, that is a bad plan. So what should you do? You can play in first gear. What does first gear look like? Well, that is where you stand there and you swing well within yourself, something that you feel like you can do very easily with a club that you can hit better than most and you just get the thing in play. You might remember one of my earlier rules is avoid penalty shots at all costs. Chances are those architects have put penalties on that first hole so that if you do decide to try and play in fifth gear right from the word go, they're going to catch you out if you don't get it right, which is going to be most of the time. So what do you do? Play first gear, pick a club that's nice and easy, pick a target that's not going to get you in any trouble, even if you hit a fairly bad one or an average one, you're still okay, and get going. And then maybe you can start working into second, third, and fourth gear later on. That even goes for your second shot too, by the way. Maybe your first chip, your first putt. Just take it easy. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to hit it close. Just get it going, get into the round, and then work your way into it from there. So hopefully that'll help you to start better and then, of course, lower our scores down. So if that helps, I'd be fascinated to know. Put a comment down below. It'd be fantastic. And in the meantime, please check out all my other videos and let me know what you think of those as well. So Paul Williamson signing off. We'll see you next time for rule number 10, my final one in the 10 keys to scoring. So hang around for that one. Cheers.